F. Lawrence, S.C., WBTW. A Florence man remains in serious condition after being bitten by the world's most venomous snake, one of 14 that were eventually euthanized, authorities said Monday night. Jeffrey Leitowitz called emergency medical services early Friday morning after a snake bit him inside his Marion Street home. But it wouldn't be until hours later that officials learned the attack was carried out by an inland tapen, Florence police said. Police were notified later Friday morning that there may be other venomous snakes in Leibowitz's home. They obtained a search warrant and contacted state wildlife officials for assistance in handling the snakes. The search yielded two cats and 14 snakes, including one green mamba, two gaboon vipers, one fur de lace, one death adder, one eastern diamondback rattlesnake, two black forest cobras, two adult rattlesnakes, species unknown, two neotropical rattlesnakes, one small rattlesnake, species unknown, and one inland taipan. Leibowitz remained in serious condition as of Monday night, police said. Jeff Camper, a biologist and snake specialist at Francis Marion University, said an Australian inland taipan, known for having the world's most potent venom among its species, was responsible for the bite. It contains human toxic components as well as neurotoxic components, and components that act on the muscles and the heart as well, he said. So it's a very, very dangerous potent venom. Camper said venom types can vary from snake to snake, with some causing throbbing pain, intense swelling, and skin discoloration. Camper said one bite from the same type of snake that bit the man could kill up to 100 people. First responders treated the man with an antivenom flown in from Florida, authorities said. Camper said Leibowitz could be facing a long recovery. His body's probably going to want to shut down relatively soon. My understanding is that he's on a respirator, and that's what's needed for the patient to be able to continue breathing as his diaphragm is likely paralyzed, Camper said. He may have long-lasting or permanent damage to various organs. Florence police said there aren't any state laws prohibiting the possession of the animals, but selling, transporting, and rehoming them could violate state regulations. Officials contacted several facilities including Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, Alligator Adventure, Reptile Lagoon, and Adisto Island Serpentarium to find temporary holdings and proper care for the snakes. None of them could accept the snakes due to unknown health and environmental concerns, such as their living conditions and potential illnesses. Speaking with the facility experts and SCDNR, it was determined that the current habitats for these snakes was unsuitable and unsafe, police said. A family member of the owner took possession of the animals and signed a voluntary surrender form, giving them over to Florence Police for euthanasia. Florence Police Department attempted to have these animals collected by numerous professional facilities so that they would not be euthanized, but instead could be studied or displayed in a professional environment, police said in an email Tuesday morning. Since these facilities would not do that, our only course of action was to have them euthanized.